How's it going? So if you like to use HDRIs as your main lighting source in your 3D projects, you may be using them wrong. So in today's video, I wanna talk about that and show you how to get the most out of your HDRIs. So let's get right into that. All right, so we have just a regular scene with a seamless backdrop and a model. Now, if you are interested in this model, I linked it in the description, figured someone would want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and import an HDRI into this scene and I have them all in my asset browser. Um, I'm currently using the Polyhaven asset browser. So what we can do is we can throw in just a regular HDRI here and I'm gonna go to cycles. Now this works in cycles and EV, so you don't have to worry about those crossing over. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there as you can see, just drag and drop. So if you are curious about this kind of drag and drop workflow with HDRIs, again, that is linked in the description of video. It's called the Polyhaven asset browser. Um, but that is <laughs> besides the point. Here is our HDRI. Now this looks good. And mostly, mostly because we have a really nice top-down lighting and everything is flat. Uh, but let's go ahead and find an indoor one. Now today's topic is using your HDRIs as the main source of light. Um, that is typically not what you want to do. That is a, mostly a beginner mistake is hoping that the HDRI is going to do all the work for the lighting. Now it does do really well but it won't do all the work. So what we're gonna do, and now this specifically works for indoor or studio lighting. When you're using uh, lighting for exterior, like a desert scene, using HDRI as your only source of lighting is a pretty good option if you're doing exterior, but interior light is much more difficult and that's what this is all about. So let's go ahead and just get a uh, artificial light HDRI and let's throw in Auto Shop. So as you can see here, it's kind of boring. And especially if you're trying to optimize and make your uh, model look really cool, this is not going to be the best option. So let me show you what to do. So now we have this HDRI. Let's go ahead and use it in what I believe is the best way to use your HDRIs. Let's go ahead and on the strength, let's pop that to 0.3. And then let's go add some lights to this scene. So shift A, I'm gonna go here and add a light. Now the big point I'm gonna be going for is using your HDRI as assistant lighting or really to cover those shadows. And you'll see kind of the big reveal in a minute. So if you wanna follow along, we're gonna do a two point lighting setup. So we're gonna take these spotlights, I'm gonna hit G and move it over here. And then I'm gonna hit R to rotate it, maybe bring it down, rotate it there. And then there we go. And then let's go ahead and give it some nice uh, lighting. So let's go ahead, we'll give it a strength of 30,000 and then we'll bring the radius down. This is one of my favorite lighting setups to do. So we'll bring that spot size down so it's kind of hitting right here. And let's make it a nice vibrant orange. Now let's go ahead and get one more light. So I'm just gonna go and duplicate this light and, and bring it over here. So I'm using G and just going around and then I'm gonna hit R twice to point it at my model. We'll go back. We'll go ahead and make this maybe 5,000 on the strength and switch the color to something nice. So here we go, we have our lighting. And you know, it's up to you whether you think this is good or not, but this is now lighting our scene. Now let me show you the broad point for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and make this HDRI the strength of zero. See how the lighting looks here. And we can even make these lighting kind of hit everything, but the lighting is good, but it's just everything around it is not very well lit. Now you can add more lights to hit the background, but then it gets really complicated. So what HDRIs are really, really good for when it comes to interior or studio lighting is to fill out everything else. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the strength and just hit 0.3, enter. And what that did was really just make it look better and see how that filled out all the shadows. And we can go ahead and use a different one too. So we'll go back to my asset browser and say, hey, we don't like the color that that, that particular um, HDRI is throwing into the scene. Let's go pick a different one. So we'll go, and I do like to use indoor HDRIs if we're doing indoor lighting. So let's go ahead and say, pick this one. Now see how that's full. We'll go ahead, go back to 0.3 and see how that just kind of makes it a little bit better. And you can even go down to 0.1 and it is still going to be better then zero, see, pure black on zero. And then if we just pick point one, see how much better that already gets. See how these tentacles back here are getting filled out a little bit 
and we still have our focal point here. So the trick here is getting better at your lighting with you know the, the built-in lights with Blender and using the HDRI as your supporting light system. Maybe we can even go to point two on this and see how much better the lighting on this object is compared to nothing or if we do full HDRI and we take out the spotlights, see how flat that is? It's boring, it's not interesting, and you're trying to show off your models and you wanna give it that aha factor, this is gonna be the way to go. So giving your strength again at point three, introducing a two or even three point lighting system is going to make your models look so much better and as a whole, round you out as a better artist. And you can really just swap out any HDRI you want. Say, hey, this one's interesting. Let's add one with some color. There we go. Look how cool that is now. And again, it's still assisting. It's still adding some light to these back here, filling out those shadows. And then we can go down to say 0.4 for this one. It's still gonna fill out those shadows. This is a pretty dark one. Um, we're just spitballing here. Um, but it really just depends on the HDRI, which one you wanna use, how will it f affect the scene? Even this one with a little bit of green in it. This one's super cool, 0.3, enter. See how that affects it. Really cool, makes everything look better, uh, but that's the bigger point here. So there you go. That is, in my opinion, the best way and maybe quote unquote the proper way to use HDRIs when it comes to studio and indoor lighting. So there you guys go. I have more videos in depth on lighting and you can check those out right here. But with that being said, I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next tutorial.